we manufacture and sell navigation systems, uh, primarily inertial navigation systems and accessories. These are used in various applications, both for uh, uh, GIS, surveying and so on, uh, underground navigation, uh, precise control of robotics, motorsport data acquisition and vehicle navigation. So this system here is Orientis. This is an AHAS, which means it provides orientation, uh, acceleration forces and heading. This is predominantly used in systems to do with robotics, such as uh, the control of arms and other mechanical devices, gimbal stabilization, this kind of stuff. It's uh, got a world magnetic model stored internally, which is updated periodically to provide the most accurate magnetic calibration possible. Uh, this is something which not many other orientation sensors can do. So it provides a very good heading information compared to other systems, especially under high dynamic conditions, accelerations, which would throw other sensors off range. Again, things such as gimbal stabilization and orientation and heading information for various robotic devices. This product here is a spatial jewel. It's a dual antenna, triple frequency GPS receiver combined with extremely high accuracy MEMS sensors. This is used primarily in uh, applications which require high dynamics and also have uh, large magnetic interference. So other systems uh, which use single antenna GPS receivers have problems with uh, loss of heading when there is a very strong magnetic presence. Uh, this interrupts the magnetometers which are primarily used for heading in those systems. Uh, or if you lose GPS, the heading will drift significantly with those if there's a lot of magnetic interference. This uses dual antenna heading, which is impervious to magnetic interference and is also capable of maintaining far higher accuracy under high dynamic conditions. Applications such as motorsport, uh, stunt planes, anything that involves large amounts of accelerations or g-forces, is perfect for this device. They're also used in uh, movement of oil rigs where precise positioning is required and there is a large amount of ferromagnetic steel involved. So that causes uh, inferior systems to go haywire, whereas this does not. This is spatial fog. Now, this device uses a fiber optic gyroscope which replaces the MEMS gyroscope found in the uh, lower range systems. So the fiber optic gyroscope technology is basically a coil of fiber optic wire which uh, fires a light signal from one side to the other and the time taken from the light to reach one end of the cable to the other is used in determining uh, the rate of spin of the earth which is then calculated into heading. Uh, this gives you extremely accurate orientation information again where high dynamics are involved and also helps maintain positional accuracy in applications where you have a very frequent loss of GNSS reception. So you see this used a lot in underground applications or subsea applications where you begin with a GPS lock but then the rest of the navigation solution is provided in an area where there is no GPS at all. Uh, one of these systems combined with a wheel speed sensor or a velocity input can provide you with a positional accuracy as low as less than 1% of distance traveled and you have no loss in position from uh, stationary movement if you have a wheel speed encoder with this system as well. So a wheel speed encoder is a system that attaches to a wheel or other ro rotating device and gives you a speed of rotation. You use that to work out the velocity and that also fixes the filter in this to remain stationary when the vehicle is stationary. Other systems that don't uh, allow peripherals such as wheel speed encoders to be used will generally not perform as well in applications where you lose GPS. This is Spatial Fog Dual, very similar to Spatial Fog. Uh, it has a different GNSS receiver. The primary function of this is to have dual antenna and this gives you the same benefits that you get from Spatial Dual in the, in the sense that uh, you have an extremely high heading accuracy which is impervious to magnetic interference. Um, it's also used in surveying where the absolute highest accuracy possible is required. This device will give you that. So this is Subsonus. 
This is a new product released only in the last few months. This is an underwater navigation system and the best way to describe it is as GPS underwater. It uses a hydrophone array uh, in a USB-L type system where you can get precise positioning, orientation and velocity anywhere down to 1000 meters. So it's sort of like sonar in the sense that you get a uh, beacon mounted on the bottom of the ship and that sends acoustic signals down to say a towfish or an ROV uh, where you have another of these systems receiving and the array of hydrophones allows you to precisely calculate not only its position but also its orientation and velocity and this is something which other USB-L type systems aren't capable of achieving. This is a very new product, it's extremely compact uh, compared to other systems on the market and the price is very competitive as well. One application for spatial fog in mining is uh, the precise navigation of the actual mining head, the drill. So these things, generally speaking, can only move in certain uh, legs at a time where they then need to resurvey where they've been traveling and correct for any error in course. Uh, a system such as spatial fog reduces the error so it allows them to travel further before having to stop and resurvey their uh, travel. So this increases your uptime and reduces your costs. Generally speaking, no, we provide these systems directly to the mining companies and they perform the integration into the equipment themselves. We manufacture our own hardware, but then we include support for all of your regular uh, communications protocols, uh, NMEA, um, all the various serial protocols supported by the main uh, hardware manufacturers and we can also customize the inputs to suit if you have a specific device that you want to connect. Um, we have the interface and logging unit here which is able to connect to a large number of peripherals and due to our support for custom protocols you can connect any kinds of devices to this to help increase the accuracy of our navigation systems.